Hello everybody, my name is uh, Dennis Jensen and uh, this is the second part of a series uh, on how to make a character. In the previous part we were setting up the skeleton and in this part we are going to make the legs. Uh, before we get started I just have uh, some quick announcements. Um, I'm sick today but I'm getting better. I would like to make one video tutorial a week and uh, that's why I'm doing this now even though I'm a bit sick. I'm feeling uh, awesome mentally but uh, physically I'm not feeling that good. Um, anyway I got a lot of uh, nice feedback on the first part of the tutorial and it was really great. Um, there were was also some small things people wanted to know and um, in the end uh, the goal is to make the whole tutorial so you'll know how to make everything also the face because people have been asking if we're gonna do the face as well and also weight painting um, we will get into that later <coughs> um, besides that somebody said that they heard um, a pinching sound in the background it's a bit embarrassing but uh, it was my speakers that I forgot to that I forgot to um, turn off. My speakers says a uh, really annoying sound, but I'm getting so used to it that I don't even notice this. Right now they're turned off, so it should not be coming in this tutorial. Anyway, um, for this tutorial, we're going to make a reverse foot control. Um, I will get more into that later. Uh, we'll we are going to be making the controllers for it, the controller curves, and we are going to make IK handles, we are going to make some control bones, and in the end, I'm going to show you how you can make uh, a rubber hose leg. But that's only if you want to do it. You don't have to, of course, but uh, I'll show you how you can do it. So anyway, let's just get started. The first part is to make the controllers. This is our character we got from uh, the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go see it. If you are well known in Maya, you might not have to see it. But um, yeah, I'll just get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is to make a controller for the foot. I'm gonna switch to the top view. And then I'm gonna select the foot and hide everything else so it gets a bit more clearly what I'm doing uh, and now I want a curve so um, I'm gonna go to create and I'm gonna if I may remember where it is CV curl uh, tool and we made the shelf in the last tutorial so we're gonna use this shelf and I'm gonna hold control shift uh, left click so that makes my curve here and I click on the option box um, you got some options here and what you want to do is to set it to 3 cubic normally it's 1 linear this means that it's gonna make a, a curve with a, a well it's gonna be straight but doesn't really have any curves let me show you so I'm gonna quickly make this curve um, sorry, let me start over. If you start making it, you won't see it because you're in uh, isolate selected. Um, so if you auto load new objects in show isolate select this auto load new objects, it will show you when you make uh, new objects. So you can see now it shows. And I'm just gonna follow the form of this view. I uh, actually can see it. Uh, this is not what I want. I think it's this one, tree breeze. Uh, because, because I want a hard edge on my curves. Ah. That's weird. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, 
Yes, this is the one. Hmm. Then I guess I was wrong. One ninja does just make it straight and three cubic makes a curve. Curvature or whatever you call it. So let's get just into it again. I made the curve for my foot. And if I go to perspective mode, you can see it fits already because my character is placed in UV space. The next thing I want to do is I want to make a pole vector so you can control the knee. And uh, I'm simply going to do that with text. So this should be called right and left, R or L. Um, so it might be uh, what, uh, what, uh, how should you make it? Because your right and left is uh, different from the character's right and left. So you always want to make it for the character's right and left. That's just the way it is. I'm gonna make it L. Apply, and we get this L down here. I'm gonna rotate it so we see it a little bit better. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move it first. It's already rotated, but I'm gonna scale it up. And I'm gonna center the pivot. And I'm gonna hold Control Shift uh, left click just to make it myself. And maybe a bit less. This is about fine. Then I'm gonna move it by holding. Uh, if I hold V down, it will snap to any vertex or joints. So I want it right in the middle of this knee. I'm just gonna hide by holding Control H to hide my mess. And now I've got this um, this letter. If you go to the outliner, you can see that it places the letter in some groups. I'm just going to take it out of the group, delete everything else. So now I got the letter right where my knee is. So you can see this joint has a bit of um, a bend to it. It's slightly rotated, and you want the same exact orientation for this letter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the letter and you're gonna select the bone or joint and press P and you can see now it's uh, the child of the joint and you get these um, uh, you get these translations on it. So if I just make this 180, it will automatically have the same orientation as the joint. So now if I pull it out. It will not uh, move when I make this uh, joint point to this. Um, if I just pulled it out and didn't make make this, our joint will would flip a little when you um, when you make a pole vector. I'm going to show you this later on, but for now I'm just going to hold Shift P to unparent it. And I'm gonna go to freeze transformations, uh, freeze transformations option box. I'm going in translate, rotate, and scale. I'm gonna press apply. So all the values out here is now zero, and that's what we want. Um, I'm gonna call this um, foot left. Oops, left. CTL for control, and I'm gonna call this leg L hole control. So now we got the controls, and this was the first part of the tutorial. In the next part, we're going to set up the IK handles and the joints that will make the reverse foot. So uh, keep going.